Hi, today I want to talk about bad wine. Now, this is not the sense of cheap wine. I'm talking about you open a bottle no matter what the cost and it's just not good to drink. How do you know that? How do you know that, it's, that the wine itself is bad and it's just not something that you personally don't care for? A couple answers to that. No, there's some cases where the two might get mixed up. Yeah, you know, the wine is perfectly good. You just don't happen to care for it. You've never had it before. It's like, oh, I just don't like this. I don't, I don't This is bad wine. I want my money back. You got to be careful of that. Don't get whiny. Bad form. But there are some things that uh, you can look for, literally, figuratively speaking. And uh, I got a list here. Ran across. I'm just going to refer to it so I don't leave anything off. The first thing you really want to notice, well, let me back up a minute. There's a term that you'll hear a lot called corked wine. You know, literally the cork in the bottle. You can't see this is a stopper, not a cork, but the cork has gone bad. It's, it's whatever, and it's ruined the wine. That's really, really uncommon, and especially uncommon when you have a screw cap or a Stelvin enclosure. So, uh, although even with those, you can still have bad wine, but it, it most often people will talk about wine being corked when it's bad. It's not always truly a corked wine, but it can still be a bad wine. All right, with that in mind, we'll move on. One of the first things you want to look at is the smell. And <laughs> look at the smell. Didn't quite work, but you know what I mean. Okay, if you smell anything really bad, chances are the wine is bad. Um, and I'm talking things like shouldn't just shouldn't be there. You know, if it smells like, um, I don't know, garbage or something, if it smells like vinegar, that can be one. You don't find that often, but it does happen occasionally. Uh, wine turns to vinegar, I mean. That would not be a drinkable wine. Let me think, what's some other ones? Uh, oh, a musty basement. Now, you will find a little bit of mustiness on the nose on some wines, and that's fine. A little bit of even bad smells is okay, depending on what those smells are. But if it's just you open it up and take a whiff and it just smells like a rank basement, no, nah, you don't want to drink that. Uh, you can taste it to be sure, but probably not. If it smells like wet dog, wet newspapers, things like that, those are typical signs that it's gone bad. Now, um, if you have a dry wine or dry red wine that tastes sweet, probably it's gone bad too. It should not taste sweet if it's not supposed to. If you've got like a Cabernet Sauvignon, that should not taste sweet. Now there are some sweet red wines that are meant to be sweet, those are fine, but if it's meant to be a dry wine and it tastes sweet, something's gone off with it. Um, oh, this is a fun one. Now, talk about getting a bottle of wine in a restaurant or any place else and really inspecting it. Now this bottle I got here doesn't have a cork in it, so I can't really demonstrate that. I should have brought one up. Let me take the stopper out. Okay, so you got the top of the bottle. If the cork is actually pushed up, more than just you know, a fraction of an inch, that might be a problem. It usually indicates the bottle has been stored improperly and gotten too hot. So you get a little expansion there and it's pushing the cork out. Not a good sign. So I would be suspect of that. You, know, you can go ahead and open it, smell it, taste it to be sure, but I would, that would be an alert sign. It's like, ooh, there's a little red flag there. I'm gonna watch this carefully just in case. And when you see something like that, it's definitely you as a host or hostess, you want to do the sampling first before you pour it for your guests. So again, you pour your sample taste, give it a good swirl, good sniff. It's like, mm, so far so good, give it a taste. And if it tastes okay, then you're fine. It just maybe, it just didn't get pushed in all the way. So, but that's kind of a little red flag to watch for if the cork is pushed out a bit. If it's pushed out halfway, boy, yeah. Be real careful, I wouldn't sniff too close on that one. Okay, um, yeah, if your wine, red wine in particular, is a brownish color. Now some wines do age a little bit towards the tawny brown side, that's okay, but if it comes out looking like brown shoes or something, you'd be, you'd be suspect of it. Again, sniff carefully, bring it up, sniff from a distance, you don't want to get your you know, nose stuck in something that's really nasty. If it smells okay, taste it. Gingerly taste it, you know, tiny sip. Again, you don't want to throw your whole sense of smell and taste off with something bad, so do it carefully. So, you know, if it still smells and tastes okay, then you're good to go. Okay, uh, if you detect anything astringent or chemical in the in nose, you might want to watch out for those too. Um, it, you know, your your nose should always have some elements of fruit, and you'll have other things in there too. And sometimes you're going to find some odd things in there, but just be careful. It just doesn't smell right. 
go ahead and give it a tiny taste, but be prepared to dump it or send it back or whatever. So those are some of the things that you can watch for on wine. Uh, I should also say on white wines, if you get one that's really brown colored as opposed to very clear or very yellow or golden, that's one I would be suspect of too, because white wines should not be turning brown. That's a bad sign. So with those, I hope uh, that helps you out. Uh, most of the time, you know, I have found personally found very, very few bad bottles. I think I've had, um, I don't know, just a very few number in all the bottles I've drunk. Believe me, I've consumed a few bottles. Now, with help, of course, not always by myself, but we open, I have friends over, we go through quite a few bottles in one night, depending on the number of friends over, and it's very rare for me to find one. And they do happen occasionally, so you'd be on the lookout for it. Sometimes, let me just back up before I finish this off and say, sometimes you'll taste one that just doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste bad in the sense of it doesn't taste foul. It doesn't smell bad. In fact, it might even smell really good, but it just doesn't taste right. I would say on that, give it some time to breathe, give it some air, or take a stopper like this, plug it up, sit it back, open a different bottle, come back to that one the next day and see how it tastes. Now, if it still tastes bad, yeah, then go ahead and dump it. Sometimes it's just a matter of letting them breathe. And uh, a lot of times what people will say is they think is bad is it's kind of out of balance because it hasn't really opened up enough. So with all that in mind, I uh, hope you learned something. Give me a thumbs up. And tell your friends about this channel too if you haven't. If you've got wine friends, bring them around. And anytime you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments for me. So cheers and enjoy your wine. In the same sense, terroir is a lot different than just the ground in which grapes are grown. Terroir really considers, in addition to the emotional context, it considers a lot of other things. For example, climate, 